Hello, I'm Colin Cady. Welcome to this week's edition of The Monday Show by Airwaves Media. On today's show, we learn more about the ALMA NJ ROTC program, highlight international students, and see the results of a student survey. We also check out your furry friends for the week, highlight district-wide social media, and I tested students' knowledge once again. This much and more on today's episode of The Monday Show, so sit back and relax. Foreign exchange students are just like you and me, just with a little bit of a different background. Shelby Bishop and Sydney Wynn highlight some of these new faces on campus. This year, Alma High School welcomed 23 students from many countries around the world to the Airedales family. From Azerbaijan, it's a part of Europe and between Europe and Asia. It's uh, next to Turkey and uh, Iran. I like everything uh, America. America is very like a different con uh, country, and it's it's a very good experience for me to be in America. I'm in, I'm part of a team. I play volleyball, and I really like to play volleyball. It's uh, it's very it's like um, very cool to be part of team. Cultural differences are food and school. Food, it's my, uh, we like to, uh, in my country, we like to eat uh, rice, like healthy food. Here we eat like fast food, but I really enjoy to eat fast food. <laughs> I, uh, I really like Alma so far, and I think I, wanted to, I want to come next year to Alma. Our exchange students are actively involved in many Alma activities as they're adapting to the American culture. Well, the culture different mostly is a school. In my country, the school doesn't look like this at all. The uh, teacher go around the class and go and still just stay in the room for the whole day. Mm, I'm from Vietnam. It's an Asian country. Um, is um, you probably know it because you guys learn about it in the history class. Well, American. I think I like the food, the people, and. Um, the activity, I think. The football is pretty cool. I'm from Brazil. It's a really cool place. I'm from Sao Paulo, Brazil. It's a, it's like New York from Brazil. It's, it's really cool. The life in America, it's so different from my country. It's, it's really cool. The routine, it's different. Every, everything is different. My family, my, my responsibilities, so different. But in, in here, the, the people are so they love America. They love the flag, they love the, all the things from America, so it's so different for me. Everything is possible to me. From Airwaves Media, I'm Sinning Nguyen, along with Shelby Bitshaw. We just can't get enough of your pets, so continue sending your cute friends to airwavesmedia at almasd.net. Let's take a look at this week's submissions. One of the most successful programs here on campus is the ALMA NJROTC. Caleb Griffith, Bobby Taylor, and Legend Owen spoke with Commander Raymer to learn more. ROTC programs all over the country have been a great way to develop leaders in and outside the school. This is especially true here at ALMA. The ALMA ROTC program develops and trains leadership skills to every student involved. With every successful program comes a strong leader. Commander Raymer is the director of Alma Razzi, and the program has a proven track record. I think I've turned most of our cadets into a stronger leader than what they would have been without the class. Um, we have several cadets that have gone on uh, to pursue goals that they didn't think were possible. We've had cadets go to college when they didn't think they were smart enough to go to college. Uh, we have several cadets that continue to serve in all branches of the military. For the ROTC program to develop so many great leaders, there must be systems in place. I think probably the best way to turn somebody into a leader is to continually push them harder than they've ever been pushed. And when they realize that they're capable of achieving goals that they didn't think were possible, then it leads them to pursue other goals that they may have not thought possible before. 
As a veteran, Raymer credits the military for preparing him. I was put into a leadership role at a very early age of about 22 or 23 years old, um, which means I've had nearly 30 years of experience in leadership. As you can see, the Alma Razzi program is in great hands. We should expect to see many great things from these student leaders. From Airwaves Media, this is Caleb Griffith, Legend Owens, and Bobby Taylor. Our eyes have been searching social media this past week, and we have compiled our favorite posts from across the district. Take a look. To conclude our show, I tested students' knowledge once again. Here's In the Know with Colin Cady. Who is the mayor of Alma? <laughs> Keith Green? I don't know. I have no idea. No idea. I have no idea. I think. Keith Green? Yeah. Correct? You. <laughs> Pretty good answer right there. This week's correct answer was Keith Green. This is Colin Katie with Airwaves Media. Just a reminder, if you are not able to attend the football games, they will be streamed on the Alma School District YouTube page, powered by yours truly, Airwaves Media. And with that, our show comes to a close. For additional content, visit our social media accounts at, at Airwaves Media. This includes Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. Thank you for joining us today. I'm Colin Katie. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel. As always, go Airedales.